to the rafters. We can't ask for any more. How could it be otherwise when two high-level sides go head-to-head? -head? Hello and welcome. And I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today. No rain in sight. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we're very much looking forward to bringing you league action today. It is Nottingham Forest taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And here's how Nottingham Forest will line up. Well, it's a 4-5-1, but with three of the midfield players giving close support to the centre forward, and the other two sitting deeper. Also watch out for the fullbacks getting forward at every opportunity. They do like to get crosses into the box. Well, he's certainly not alone. Just narrowly off target. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And players waiting in the centre. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Well, a look at the form book tells us this ought not to be a contest. The hosts have the poorest attack in the league. Their opponents the best well Derek I'm not sure what their biggest problem will be today scoring themselves or stopping the opposition I think this is going to be a very difficult game for them the attack continues that they were playing fluid football but then the foul and now you would anticipate a yellow card Felipe Can he find the right pass? Doing well to win it back. What can they do from here? Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out the danger. And he takes it away. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Origi. Well, he's given us away. James. Really have to get it spot on to finish from there. And it was miles off target. Well, maybe not the right choice there. That's a poor effort. And Chelsea with the ball again. Fernandez. Rhys James. Promising pass. Just not looking confident in possession. Kukureya. Just the challenge that was required. Gallagher. Another well, pass over hit. Enzo Fernandez. Moises Caicedo. And Forrest doing well to regain possession. 
And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Well, he's gone back and shown him a yellow card, Stuart. Well, that was a poor challenge. The referee wasn't going to forget that, was he? And it's played into the centre. And it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. Sterling. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Free kick to Chelsea. Conor Gallagher. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. And disappointingly, straight into the wall. Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Chelsea's corner as they try to take the lead here. It might still be problematic. Danger averted for now. Well, as you can see, Chelsea have dominated the last 15 minutes and have played some really lovely football going forward. They must now make it count and get themselves in front. Now can they win back possession and carve out another chance for themselves? Oh, that is a super save! Well, he had to finish that, but credit to the goalkeeper. That's a brilliant stop. Who's going to get on the end of it? A decent effort, but the keeper read it all the way. Caicedo. James. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Still not clear. And Chelsea have given us away. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. And the cross goes in. Stopped a surefire goal. Corner kick played in. Goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. Needs to clear it. Getting in there to intercept. What to like about that pass? Can he convert? Really good diving save. Who can he pick out? And there goes the half-time whistle. It's an even picture here. So back underway here into the second half. Oh, that's a fine pass. Well, possibilities inside the box. Was it a great clearance? And saved by the keeper. Over it comes. And a poor ball. What can Chelsea do from this position? Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. James. And players waiting in the centre.
And a goal has gone in at the Emirates. Let's hear about it from Alex. It's a goal for Brighton. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 53 minutes played. I don't know what was said at half-time, Derek, but it has certainly worked. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Chance to play it in. And the referee says corner kick. Well, these fans have had to be patient. Could this be the equaliser? Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Wonderful header, excellent goalkeeping. Corner again. And there's the delivery. Well, it still could be dangerous. Danger averted for now. And Forrest will get the throw in. They've given it away. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. What a brilliant pass. He's in with a chance. What a lovely strike. Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, here it is again. It's a wonderfully weighted ball over the top, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one foot in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. And wasteful there from Forrest. And a throw coming up after a really fine piece of tackling. Mikhailo Mudrik. Well, there's defensive solidity for you. And someone has found the net in the Arsenal match. Let's hear all about it from Alex. Yep, a second goal for the Gunners. And now behind by one with 64 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Effective piece of pressing. Sterling. What to like about that pass. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Sterling. And Chelsea win the corner. Number 27, Divo. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Delivering it. Not away completely. Well, nothing untoward happened. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Well, he's gone back and awarded the free kick because there really wasn't much of a tangible advantage. So now a corner. Well, they haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd sensing this could be a turning point. They need a goal here. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Trying to open them up. It just needs to remain icy cool. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the pitch. but there's no stopping that what a great finish well the ball is moving again and Chelsea are quite simply running away with this Felipe Cuyate now and a good take under duress there a quarter of an hour remaining here well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Lovely ball over the top. Well, he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he just delayed the pass, didn't he? That was a great opportunity. And a timely intervention. Oh, great vision. 
real chance. Oh, tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. Trying to deliver it accurately. Oh, disappointing clearance. And quick thinking defensively. Nkunku. And drawing it back. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Oh, nice ball. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Right, something exciting has happened at the Vitality Stadium. Let's hear all about it from Alex. It's a goal for Manchester City. They've pulled one back with 85 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Well, they might be able to launch a counter-attack. Nkunku. Well, since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. And a fine tackle. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, three minutes to be added on. Well, that one has promise. In a decent position now. Oh, breezing past him. Is it going to be Raheem Sterling? And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Oh, my goodness, you've really got to praise the defending. That was top-notch. And that is full-time. Chelsea have prevailed. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, as expected, I...